Hi friends, uh, welcome to uh, Data Warehousing Video Tutorials. This session I am going to explain about uh, static dimensions. So as you know that uh, there are different types of dimensions. Uh, it's like a majorly uh, your master data. Normally dimension tables data you will be receiving from your source systems. Whatever you are using uh, extracting data from your source system. Whatever are facts as well as dimensions all data you will be receiving from source. But there are some dimensions we, we used to configure manually not from source system that is called time dimension and locations that is called geography dimensions. So this dimension is what we will do we will prepare data for future if you are talking about a time dimension of uh, future uh, financial years it is a one time configuration we will prepare the complete uh, time uh, required columns uh, week day uh, whatever month quarter whatever we are required all the hierarchy level uh, time or dimension we will be preparing those data and we will be inserting into your database only once same thing geography also whatever you are running a business a list of available locations uh, geography maybe states countries whatever you have a uh, continents available uh, geography locations everything will identify and we will configure only once this type of dimensions we will call as static dimension because this dimension data we are not receiving from source okay we are not receiving from etl loads we are manually configuring only once that is uh, for a senior architect they will identify the uh, requirement okay what are the uh, reporting side where, wherever you are using the weeks or ids whatever you are using that those columns will be identified and will be created only once for your feature whatever your feature financial years you can configure that so this is the way we can go for using dimensions those dimensions will be calling as static dimensions dynamic means so maybe uh, customers or products wherever the, whenever their source side is uh, adding a new customer new product those information will be receiving to your warehouse through etl loads those data is getting changed dynamically right those are dynamic dimensions static dimensions means constant values we are configuring manually so it's a constant data thus dimensions we will call as static dimensions so thank you for watching my videos please uh, subscribe my channel to get more videos and update my channel thank you very much